Hey yo, I'm hustling, chasing dreams in a race for green. They telling me to stop, I won't even pace my speed. I'm headed for the top, so I pack my suitcase, staring at the clock, hoping I'm not too late. Hey, yo, grind mode, grind mode, grind mode, grind mode, grind mode. Yo, what the fuck is up? Welcome to a track I can't even fucking say. Um, I hate this track. That's all I can say. The track I hate the most on this game. But, uh, here we are. We're here. At something I'm not even gonna try to say. But, GT500 race. Here we go. King Best start in first. Painos in second. And all I know is Ryan Mead loves this fucking place. As he's up to third. And Nizzle starting high again, dude. Fucking sideways making an attempt. As last week didn't go too swell for him. But it's alright. It went swell for King until the last couple laps where just the bad luck just continued. But Ryan Mead. At probably his favorite track. Another corkscrew track with this shit. I fucking hate it. <laughs> But it's okay, as you see why I hate it, because I fucking creamed the wall. It was the only car that hit the fucking wall. <laughs> it's alright. King Best is first. We got every fucking car in the top five, basically, is yellow. Besides two. Fucking King. Dominating right now. But Ryan Mead not trying to allow it, as he's hot on his ass. Fucking Panos. With the win last week on a nice little win streak. It's nice to see him win. Former teammate raping him. Uh, Nizzle back and forth. So he's, like I said, Nizzle's very consistent. Dragon's in fifth. Amp Irish in sixth. And look at Mike in the eighth and seventh. Sideways eighth. Mike Hans in ninth. Gleason tenth. Kel is eleventh. And it looks like we have a battle for the lead. Maybe not. As it looked like uh, Mead and King were intertwining there for a second. As it looks like Mead's gonna get around King. Track's kinda lagging a bit. It's alright. All I know is all fucking yellow cars are up there. <laughs> That's all I know. <laughs> Look at fucking Mike at the 8. Mike Kanzi not doing so good. Gleason having some trouble. But someone who's not having trouble and pulling away from King is Ryan Mead. As he goes through the little fucking corkscrew. King goes through it. Panos goes through it. Everyone's just getting by here at track I can't pronounce. <sighs> I don't know. But, uh, Mike 88 having some trouble as his car is damaged in the rear. And he's struggling. And as you saw when Ryan Mead passed uh, King, he's just been pulling away ever since. So it's good to see Ryan Mead up there, back up there. It's been a while. It's also good to see King having another good run. Hopefully King does not run into any drama in this race. He's just had, he's had the worst fucking luck out of anybody right now. Nizzle up in fourth, still new, still a rookie. He's got fucking one of the best on his ass, well, was on his ass, well, crossover, but Dragon, he's gonna make Nizzle work for that fourth place spot right now, and it's back up to the lead, Brian Mead, going places, we got King Bass second, Panos third, we got every fucking yellow car in the race up there, basically, so, we got Sideways and Mike Canty exchanging position, and we got Mike 88 right behind them, we got the two blue cars right there. Well, three blue cars in a row. And we got mine shot back there. But here goes me, there goes King, there goes Panos, and here comes Dragon and Nizzle. As Nizzle pulled away from Dragon a little bit right there, and we got the only fucking non Nissan here back in uh, 6. We had Mikey D cream the wall, Amp Irish, and fucking Kel and Gleason all right there. We got mine shot hanging on, trying to get a top 10. As you see the gap now between uh, Ryan Mead and fucking King, as Mead's starting to pull away. And it's a known fact that Mead loves this place. <laughs> and fucking GT500 series, just a lot of fun, guys. You wanna get in this shit? Check out the site. 
It's the place to fucking be for great racing and against guys that know what the fuck they're doing. <laughs> but anyway, sideways trying to hold off Mike Canty back in seventh. And you see really from time to time people using different cars, different, you know, shit. Everyone's trying to find that right setup. As Mead Stephanie has the hook up here. King's in second, Panos is in third, and Nizzle is in fourth. Uh, one driver not in the race that actually failed to qualify was Team Dynasty, as the camera is zooming in on the uh, track for no reason. But that hurts. Um, there's a new rule in the league, whatever, because of the lag issues and all that with GT5 going on. Uh, we got knockout qualifying, so if you're not in the top 10 in points, you got to qualify your way in. And my buddy Team Dynasty sadly did not make this race. But Mike 88 just fucking all over the place. <laughs> that looked like he just turned dead left into the wall. I got Kel in 11th, got my shot coming back. So look at the gap now between fucking Ryan Mead and King Best. <laughs> Me loves this track, dude. He is just raping right here. Right now, we got King hoping he can finish up in second. Or hoping just for some good luck here. As Mead's car is so much faster than anybody else's right now. Definitely knows how to get around here. We got Panos and King trying to work together. Run down Mead, maybe. So I love this shot coming down the hill. There's Nizzle back and forth, Dragon back and fifth. Here comes Sideways and Kanzi in sixth and seventh. We got Amp and Gleason right here. We got Mike Giddy all by himself. I love this shot. Uh, we got Kel and Mine shot. So, everyone's relatively close until lap 16 when the pit stops start happening. And. It's not just pit stops. This is gonna be another sad part for King. Alright, so he gets hit right there, hit into the wall, blown the engine, he's done. <laughs> Straight up, what happened? <laughs> uh, pit stops are starting up, and what happened with King was I believe he was one of the last to pit, and he got screwed because he went down the pit road and it said that he never did so like he went down pit road but it didn't stop so he had to go around again in pit and that fucked him and that's why he was back in like ninth and then by the time everything sorted out he's back in like 10th or 12th but he was coming back and then just having the worst luck right now <laughs> But someone who's not having the worst luck at this track is fucking Ryan Mead, who's first place by a landslide. We're gonna just jump to fourth place, Nizzle, because he's having a good run right now. Um, one car did drop out of the race. That would be King. And sadly, King had easily, very easily a top three car. But, of course, more problems for King, more bad luck, blown engine. He's gonna have to settle for a 12th place finish. Mike Kanzi up in fifth right now with Gleason hot on his tail we got seven laps to go um sideways is back in seventh so as we watch Gleason here who's having a solid run we're gonna jump to sideways right now and sideways just not really having the mojo he had at high speed ring but hopefully he'll come out of here with a top 10 try to get in the top 10 in points because remember he has that win uh, Mikey the H is having trouble. That's really all his story's been this year. <laughs> uh, Amp Irish, he's gonna have a nice little top 10 run hopefully here. Maybe top 8. He wants to get in there as he gets bumped from Mikey the H into the wall. Uh, Mind Shot, holding on the 10th spot right now. As he's just cruising. No, not trying to. See what happened to King as you saw King just kind of get nosedived into the corner and that pretty much sums up him but there's Cal and right behind Cal is uh, the leader Ryan Mead <laughs> so Cal's just cruising 
not trying to wreck or whatever, just hoping to finish the race. As Ryan Mead's right behind him. And Mead just fucking dominated this race, dude. Dominated. The only competition was King until King got, uh, effed. But Ryan Mead looking for one, maybe his first win of the season here. At track I can't pronounce. <laughs> And I just know he's really good here. <laughs> but as we go on board with him, look behind him as he just smoked Kel. And he's going to try to cruise on to victory with just five laps to go. And we're going to jump to second place. Panos, as you see the gap, as he's coming out of the bus stop or chicane. And he's got a way to go, but Dragon's not that far behind him. So we could have a battle for a uh, second if Panos does slip up. But who can argue with the way Dragon's been driving lately? Just beast. And here's Nizzle. Someone who just came out of nowhere and has been having really good finishes. So, and here comes me. Mike fucking Kanzi. Who, uh, gonna have maybe a nice solid top five here. Gleason trying to run me down. Trying to get in the top five. Sideways trying to run down Gleason. Maybe getting the top ten in points. You never know. But it's alright. We got Mike88 back in 8th battling with Amp Irish for 8th spot. You know, these two guys have had just some of the worst luck too. 88's just been like that all season, just hitting shit. <laughs> you know, and Amp, just, you know, another story of just the wrong place, wrong time. Mind shot back in 10th. And the history between Mike88 and Amp has been really heating up over the past couple of weeks. You know, ever since the little run in at Daytona and fucking Laguna Secta and all that shit. So, there goes Cal. He's a lap down right now. We got Ryan Mead right there with four laps to go. He's about to lap down Mine Shot. But I don't think it's going to matter because Ryan Mead's car is fucking on roids right now. As there goes Mine Shot and here comes Mead. As we're going to jump to uh, mine shot right there and we're gonna look behind and see how fast me actually catches uh, mine shot as you know okay run for mine shot he's gonna finish in the top 10 you know get in there trying to do something just trying to finish the race don't really want to go lap down but it's all right when someone's on fucking beast mode and they're just fucking raping everybody as you see how fast me did catch him and me just gonna is he gonna give him the bumper? Nope. Mine shot's gonna let him go. And Meat's just gonna take it and he'll say, see you next race. <laughs> and it's Meat's. Just Meat's car was just so fucking quick. As Panos is in second still, Dragon's not catching him. And it looks like the top five are pretty much the way they're gonna be. As there goes Meat coming into the chicane. Another very scary part of the track. And another yellow, yellow hat car. These cars get so much fucking camera time. <laughs> Just because they're so good. And so fast. But here's the final lap. Fucking Mead. Coming through the chicane. Top 5 did not change at all. But the top... Mm, from 6 down, things have been spicing up. As Sideways is now in 6. Mike at 8 moved up to 7th. And no one else has dropped out of the race, only three laps later, but it looks like Mead's going to get his first win of Season 3. And remember, if he's locked in the top 10 in points, going uh, to be one hell of a chase. That's all I really could say for at least the GT500 series. As here comes Mead to the finish, going to win his first race of Season 3, I believe. I could be wrong, but... He's going to go, he's going to spin him, dominating fashion, only one lead change, and that was back in the early laps. As Panos, not that far behind, but just not enough time. As Panos comes home with a nice second place victory, and Dragon, who's been raping this whole season, probably gets his worst finish a third. So, still up there, and here comes Nizzle, who's going to finish fourth. And here's the results, guys, so, uh... Tough luck for uh, King, but 
I'll see you next week, guys. Peace.